welcome to the Razor Huntsman Elite unboxing. So let's take a look at the box. This keyboard has the Razer linear optical switches and it has RGB lighting so you can have all the different colors of the rainbow. Honestly, it looks really nice. So right here, I'm using a pair of really dull scissors, so please excuse that it was very unsatisfying. By the way, I'm using a different type of unboxing format this time, so I'm doing a voiceover and have some music in the background. I don't know if people actually like this style or not. So let me know in the comments down below if you would prefer me to shut up or you do like this type of uh, interaction or both. So right now I'm just looking at the manual and that was also very unsatisfying. That rip was, I don't know how it happened, but just looking over the manual, um, obviously every single product comes with one. And then it also comes with these cute little stickers. I guess cute isn't really the right word for it, but yeah, it came with those stickers. And now let's finally look at the actual product here. And on the top, you can say that it says, welcome to the cult of Razor. And I'm struggling here. This keyboard has a good weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap. I mean, it's not a cheap keyboard in general. It has aluminum construction and it felt really uh, good quality. And it also comes with a wrist rest pad, which I thought was really cool. And so I was just squishing it right here. And this is a full-size keyboard. It comes with arrow keys and uh, the number pad. So if you do use that a lot, that will be useful to have. Uh, it features some thick cables and it also requires two USB ports for power. So that is something to consider. Going back to the wrist rest pad, um, it is like leathery kind of, and it's connected via those magnetic pins. And if you plug in both USBs, the keyboard itself lights up. But um, the other cool feature is that the wrist rest also lights up. The rest of this video will be me pressing some keys and pretending to type for the typing test. Um, just a little bit more information about the keyboard. It um, has a 40 gram actuation with one millimeter actuation distance. And these are linear switches, by the way. Um, compared to other linear switches, these are not particularly quiet. Um, as you can probably tell, but it is very smooth. The pressing and typing on it is smooth and feels great, but it is not silent. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Other than that, I think it's a really good keyboard and I will stop talking now so you can get an idea of what it sounds like.
Okay, hi, it's me again, voiceover. If you're still here, sticking around at the end, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and listening to me talk. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and comment down below.